Hello everyone, it's Scott, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve Skyblock Expert Mode. Yep, so here is a new farming area that I've created with a whole bunch of ore seeds. So, uh, starting with the redstone adendron that I made at the end of last episode, I expanded into Argold, Lepender, and Feranium, also known as Iron. So, let's bring up the uh, redstone, adendron, seed, and all the things we can make with it. So uh, combining an orange tulip will give us gold. Uh, combining it with uh, the iron and redstone, which is almost where I'm at right now, uh, will give us emerald. Uh, I want to make uh, copper next with redstone and red tulip. And so what I have here are some copper ore that I've gotten from... Uh, basically melting down copper ore dust with stone in my induction smelter. Just as I've made all the other ores uh, that I'm using the power of these flowers. So let's drop down underneath and here we can see the redstone, the gold, the lapis, and the iron ore. And I'm just laying these out in, uh, in three patterns, three by one patterns right now. And so what I'm doing is basically uh, grabbing the, uh, actually, is this going to work? No. So uh, what I did was I added a silky upgrade to this uh, pickaxe, and uh, I needed to upgrade it to, I needed to get an axe that was at uh, obsidian level. So I ended up making a uh, pig iron. And so let's grab, here, let's just grab one of these seeds. Uh, actually, let's grab the redstone for now. Yep, got it. Okay. Head over here to this side. I'll place... Whoops, not what I meant to do. Okay, let's pull that back out. Dude. And where's the redstone? Right here. Okay, so the redstone will go next to the copper. So making sure I hold shift here. So let's hop up a level. Yep, and then what I'm going to do is, since I upgraded the um, the redstone seeds to 10, 10, 10, I can use the clippers to get a clipping, which will guarantee uh, to place down uh, a new seed pattern. So let's, um, now the issue here is that I cannot bone meal the Feranium or the Aragold. So if I collect that with a right click, it's going to give me a couple of nuggets, but I cannot hit it with the bone meal. So if anybody knows any kind of uh, uh, fertilizer or some other, um, anything other than the watering can that uh, will help uh, grow these uh, seeds uh, or seeds faster, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but uh, for now, I'm kind of stuck because I'm still a long way off from the bucket uh, with normal seeds. But let's uh, grab... Hmm, okay, so this should be copper underneath. Let me just double check this. Yep, copper ore. Should be redstone adendron. Yep, copper requires... To be next. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Redstone and red tulip. Okay, so let's um, add that back. What was I reading just now that uh, messed me up? Um, all right, so let's go back and grab our red tulip out of uh, out of the chest. Yeah, for some reason I put it in this chest over here. So. Uh, you know what, I think I'm getting ready to need a, um, I'm going to need a, a storage drawer system soon. And I was doing a little bit of research on the uh, logistical pipes mod. I think that's something I might be interested in trying. There we go, there's our cuprosia seeds. And so now I can just let that grow uh, at this point. And, uh, yep, so that'll bring me up uh, copper in the future. And 
Yep, so that's how I've been uh, expanding this. I'm going to need a glowstone seed soon also. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm also kind of constrained on steel. I mean, it's no surprise because everything here seems to use steel. Um, so let's grab one of these dense refined plates out and drop it in and start crafting another uh, machine frame. So uh, I eventually want to make the alloy smelter. So that's just going to require a chassis with a basic frame. So um, I have a basic frame upstairs. So I think I'm going to make another hardened frame for the future. Yep, so that's going to take a while to run. So let's head up and grab wherever I put the uh, the other machine frame. Of course, I put it right over here. Okay, machine frame basic. So let's take a look at the alloy smelter again. So that's going to need quite a lot of toys here. So I'm going to need another basic capacitor, which means more uh, redstone uh, circuits. So let's grab the lumium out of here. Um, yes, I went and created another batch uh, in between episodes. So let's go back up and take a look at what I need. Well, let's pick uh, one of these to be... Um, all right, so I'm going to need another iron furnace. Maybe that's the where I need to start. Um, actually, electro... Hmm, advanced machine casing... This is going to be pretty crazy, actually, now that I look at it. Um, yeah, very crazy. All right. Am I ever going to need to make more than one of these? I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's see if I can craft up another... Um, no, wait, I guess I can't. I was hoping I had another book available. Uh, let's see book. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's grab some of the sugar cane. And do I have any leather? Well, I'm batting a thousand here. All right. Change of plans. So I found that I need a lot more steel than, uh, I'm able to uh, produce right now. So what I want is to go with the industrial craft uh, blast furnace. So I'm going to try to craft this guy and see if I can uh, get this to work. So uh, it's going to need uh, quite a bit of parts again, um, but nothing that's too out of the ordinary. So let's try to go with uh, with this for now. So I'm going to need another basic machine, uh, which means I'm going to need basic machine casing, which means I'm going to need a chunk of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One machine casing. I'm going to need this heat conductor, which is going to require a couple of copper and a bunch of uh, rubber. So let's grab one of that and then lock in the formula because I'm going to need a couple more uh, of these. And then uh, lastly, I'm going to need uh, this iron uh, casing. So uh, let's grab one, two, how many of these can I get? Iron plate. No, I need a lot more iron plate. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to need uh, seven of these, actually. Okay. Seven. And then that means I should be able to make my first blast furnace. Oh, throw these back in. And done. So the 
blast furnace has to be powered from a uh, from a heat source. So I'm going to have a electric heat generator, uh, which is going to be an RF or uh, EU powered um, uh, heat unit generating uh, block. So for this, I'm going to need another heat conductor, electric circuit, an RE battery, and then six more of these iron casings. So nothing uh, too out of the ordinary, but I did just uh, blow out my forge hammer. So let's make another one of those and keep going. So I'm a little worried that I'm going to end up, let's see, six of these. I'm going to need another uh, heat conductor, which means more uh, plating. Uh, and as far as the uh, electronic circuit goes, I need to swap. Uh, wait, no, okay. So first, I'm going to need uh, six of the insulated. Uh, copper cables, which means six of the uh, regular cables, which means three of the copper plates. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Five, six. And another plate. Whoops. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have shift clicked. Ah, all right, I'm going to have to go back for more iron soon. Um, and more redstone. All right, so let's quick go to our redstone seeds over here. Right click, right click. I'm gonna have to move that uh, that block back shortly too. Um, okay, dump the redstone in and done. Okay, so next. RE battery is going to need the tin, which means switching back to this set. Okay, so the RE battery, do I have enough material here? I think I do. Okay, so one, two, three. Nope, okay. Two, three, four. When you, okay, two of those are already made. And then the tin cable, which is going to require another tin plate. Done, 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 and done. All right, these guys are really helpful, <laughs> I got to admit. So uh, throw in the RE battery, and electric heat generator should be done. Whoops, which means, what am I missing? I'm missing, wait a minute, I have, uh, okay, so I'm missing iron item casings one two three four five six all right battery there we go okay so it's just a matter of the uh whether it's full or not okay great so let's head back down and plug all this into our uh, uh, electric system. So where can I work on this? Uh, eh, might as well just put it here for now. So the the only rule is that the electric heat generator needs to be touching the blast furnace uh, uh, input side. So let's um, whoops, yeah. So let's place it right here. Okay, so we have a, this side that's red needs to be the, um, oh shoot, needs to be aligned up with the, the red of the heat generator. All right, so that means I'm going to have to uh, get a wrench. Okay. So industrial craft wrench. Uh, it's just a bunch of bronze. All right, well, that's not terrible. Uh, I have four of them here. I need six. Um, do I have more bronze? 
Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. So, let's make one of these. I should be able to right-click to rotate. I think. Oh, it's right-click to... Okay. Okay, shift-click. Not quite what I want. How about if I face this way? There we go. All right, so now the red dot should be a lot. I keep bumping into that rock crusher. All right, so add coils to increase heat, increase heat output. Uh, let's grab the the wire as soon as I remember where I put it. So the coils and the connectors. I think it would also be helpful if I pick up a. Um, I think I want to pick up a. A golden bag. Okay. So, no RF. Currently transmitted heat. Heat zero. Progress zero. Hmm. Am I connected to the wrong side here? Let me check my directions. All right, I was actually really close because all I need to do is make one of these industrial craft coils. So that means grabbing some iron and um, throwing it in with the copper. Unfortunately, I made such a uh, way too many of the um, of those iron plates. So let's head back over here to the copper. Uh, that's my bronze. Uh, okay. Yep, so let's throw in the iron. What am I missing? Okay, I need uh, a bunch of these. So here, one, two, three, four, four, eight. Okay, and done. One coil. So uh, I think I'll need to add, how many was that? Up to eight coils for max efficiency. So let's throw one of these in so I can get 10 heat units. And what are we doing? We have no heat right now. All right, so maybe I need to get the, get the recipe functional. So what I'm going to need, let's grab that iron back out of here and grab... Um, bit of tin. So let's grab a stack over here and head down to the compressor. So what I was reading is that the blast furnace is going to need um, some... Doot, 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 doot. That's not going to work. Okay. Tin, uh, tin is going to make these canisters as soon as I find out where the formula is. Okay, again, I'm slightly off. I need the tin plate in the metal former, not the tin itself. So let's head back up to the to the uh, hammer. And I don't think any of these are dedicated to tin, but let's um, clear that. There we go. Tin plates, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Might as well. Okay. So let's head down and throw those into the metal former. And which uh, mode was that? Was that uh, extruding? Okay. Nope. Extruding. Okay. Empty cells. Great. So with the empty cells, I can take these and throw them in the compressor. And then that should grind them in and uh, turn them into compressed air cells. So let's take a look and see what the output of this is. Bam. Okay, compressed air cells. So let's throw in some more of this. 
and let this grind down a bit. All right, that should be more than enough uh, compressed air cells. So let's head over. And what I should have at this point is blast furnace filled with iron. I'm going to throw the compressed air cells into the left here. And this is going to take six air cells per run. And... Are we good to go? There we go. Now we got it working. So apparently the electric heat generator can only accept EU. It cannot uh, accept uh, RF through a wire conductor. So I took the bat box and moved it over here and pointed the output of the bat box over into the electric heat generator. And then the bat box can hook up to the uh, wire connector just fine. So that's powering uh, 10 heat units here, which is then uh, transferring the heat to the blast furnace, which is eventually going to start, once this reaches 100% uh, heat, should start ticking up the, uh, the blast furnace uh, uh, productivity here. So um, I think all I need to do is increase the number of coils, which will increase the heat production let me check here. I'm still net positive, but, but barely. So what I think I need to do is um, either build another RF uh, provider, maybe a second water wheel. And um, yep, so that should, if I leave this go, this should create refined uh, iron, which is what I need here to uh, basically replace, uh, yep, so once this reaches 100 and green, um, which will replace my need to, to uh, generate, um, really? Really? Oh, I don't believe it. Refined iron. Okay, so just putting an iron ingot with coal powder in the induction smelter uh, with a fair amount of RF, mind you, uh, it's going to produce um, the block that's interchangeable with steel. Oh, boy. Okay, yep, refined iron plate. So with that, I can start creating tons of machine frames. Oh, I didn't even real. <sighs> Jeez. All right, well, at least I have the uh, the blast furnace now. But uh, let me steal some of this iron back. And, well, I guess what I really need is the coal. Uh, do I have any coal sitting around? Yep, a little bit of coal. Is it really this simple? Throw the coal in the... Uh... No. Okay, so coal powder is not that simple. Uh, okay. Doot, doot, doot. Chunk of coal, block of coal, maybe... No. Okay, coal powder and pulverized coal. Looks like it's going to require a macerator. Or coal and a grindstone. Okay. Or a pulverizer. Okay. How hard are those? Since I've been talking about making one. Oh, they are not hard at all. Okay. Well, let's head over here. Grab the machine frame out that we just made with the hard machine frame. Um, head up here. And let's grab the material necessary for this. So I'm going to need some flint as soon as I figure out where I put it. Yep, lots of flint. I'm going to need uh, another piston, another redstone uh, coil. So let's grab another piston. 
Man, I'm still kicking myself. Can't believe I did that. Well, I guess it just goes to show that there's a lot of formulas here that are very interchangeable. And it's kind of hard to know really the entire tree. So I guess I shouldn't beat myself up. Um, you guys are free to beat me up, though. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, all right, so let's grab one of these. And I'm going to need four copper gears. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these in the smeltery. And I guess that should be it. So just have to wait for this to, to uh, melt down. Okay, there we go. And there's our copper. Which, of course, uh, what did I do? Did I put all that blood through the... Uh, well, it doesn't matter now. Let's just break the uh, table. Grab the uh, casting table back out. Yeah, I must have taken the, the gear cast off and not, not realized it. Yep, there we go. Uh, all right, so back to here. Let's uh, throw down this, the hardened machine frame, the piston, the two uh, flint. And by then, the uh, gears should be ready. So right here, copper gears, dink, dink. And here's a hardened pulverizer. Okay, so back to the machine area. Okay, another wire connector, another heart, another wire. And with that, I now have RF feeding it. Uh, let's grab the, the coal, okay. Block of coal, regular coal, and pulverized coal. There we go. Which now means I should be able to feed this into the smelter. Yep, there we go. And that's going to give us the refined iron. Yep, that we need to throw into the... Metal former, actually that replaces what I need in the metal former. So nine of these refined iron should turn into a compressed uh, uh, compressed plate. So let me take care of that. All right, this should be the last of the refined iron ingots. So let's let this burn down just a little bit. And then... Uh, then we should be able to throw that in the compressor no problem, which now means I have a very easy way of getting the uh, compressed iron plates uh, that I need for uh, machine frames. And that's going to open up a lot of stuff um, in the immediate future. There we go. Okay, there we don't go. Uh, because it looks like I'm going to have to put this back into the, uh, where is it, the rolling mode? Yeah. Shoot. I didn't realize that that was actually, um, yeah, back to the rolling mode in order to make the, uh, the plates. So this is going to take a little longer. All right. I'm back. I'm actually uh, much closer to the vat than I originally thought. So I'm at the point where I can create electrical steel. So I can grab some of the silicon out of the sag mill and now throw it into the uh, induction smelter with the, um, with the uh, refined iron ingots that I just made. So let's grab... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. 
and then that'll burn down to match all the refined iron here. Uh, I'm going to need actually only four of them. I'm going to need another machine chassis. So let's head back over here. And up oh, right, I have to finish off the uh, the basic frame. So let's grab the the nine refined iron, throw them in the compressor. Let's um, take a look upstairs and build another uh, furnace. So as soon as I find the block that does that, here we go, furnace. So we're going to need uh, two fluid tanks. So let me get the uh, iron bars. Yep, one. Uh-oh. Do I not have enough uh, iron? I must not have enough iron. So let's head back down. Now I was um, melting down a little bit over here. Um, just as kind of a... What I ended up doing is putting this transfer node, uh, which does an automatic item extract. And uh, that seems to be working pretty well. Uh, let me load up another uh, batch here. Good. Actually back over here. Let's check the, yep, dense iron plate. Excellent. So let's throw one of these in. And can I make a machine frame? What am I missing at this point? Um, crushed obsidian, tin, and iron. I'm missing the crushed obsidian of all things. Okay. Well, that's easily remedied. Bam. Okay. Check back on that later. So, back up to the vat. It's going to need another fluid tank. Good. And the cauldron. Yep, it's going to require seven uh, of the uh, iron plates. So, let's get that going. Um, yep, so throw the rest of these in. Um, one, two, three, and good. Cauldron, excellent. So that should cover everything but the machine chassis at this point. So let's head back down and get our Output of the induction smelter, so our electrical steel. Excellent. So let's do one, two, three, four. I'm going to need the two fluid tanks. The. Oh, I had a machine frame. Oh, man, I am just losing it this episode. Okay. All right. So cauldron and furnace. Okay. Where did I put the furnace? I left it upstairs, of course. So, machine frame should be next, which means... What did I do with that? Here it is. Furnace. So let's um, use this over here to, to craft the machine frame. So, um, basic capacitor. Um, I should have almost everything that I need. I need more lumium and redstone chipsets. So let's um, figure out where I left those guys. All right, so I left the redstone chipsets over here and the lumium should be back, I think over here. Okay, signal them. Okay. Let's come up with a formula for the um, uh, for the capacitors. So those guys go in there. Okay, capacitor, and there's the other capacitor. So the machine chassis is also going to require iron bars. So let's throw these in. Uh, probably need to make a formula for that later with the uh, the six. Uh, so I really just need 
the machine frame tossed in, and two lumium ingots, which are right here. Okay, so at that point, I think that's everything I need to make the machine chassis as a formula. And so let's grab that out and head back down. To here, throw this in, throw the furnace, and here is the vat. Excellent. So with that, I'm going to call this an episode. Um, so I'm going to uh, need to make a couple more uh, MV wires. I'm going to probably restructure some of the, uh, the machine area here. It's getting a little crowded and not very efficient, and so... Um, this is gonna this is gonna be what I need to make the fuel to make plastic, so I can move on to some of the higher level, uh, well, probably at this point entry level uh, machinery. So if you could please leave a comment or a like, uh, let me know how I'm doing, and I will see you next time in Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve Skyblock Expert Mode. Bye.